All right, you guys. I'm super, super excited. I have my new friends, April and Jay, from Spiritually Raw here on the channel. And this, we were just saying before we got started, this has kind of been a long time coming. We've been kind of playing text message and all the things would happen and get derailed. And But the universe, God, source, creator always has perfect timings for everything. And so if we can just relax into that and <laughs> know that it all works to the, for the highest good. Um, but they're here now. But before we get into it, guys, I want to go. I know a lot of my audience, you guys already know Jay and April, but I'm going to go ahead for those who don't. This is their YouTube channel, which I know they've struggled like I have with being shadow banned, shut down, all sorts of stuff. So go and subscribe to their YouTube channel. And I thought I had subscribed, but I guess that happens to you guys. So that's a good thing to point out because I had somebody email me. Yes, YouTube does go and unsubscribe you from people. So yeah. make sure it's not us unsubscribing you guys. Make sure that you go and check that um, to make sure that you are still subscribed to the the bless their hearts, you guys. Bless, as we say down here in the South, bless the darkness heart. They try so hard to derail bless their hearts. They just don't do a good job at it. And then of course, here is their website right here, guys. And I will put all these links down in the description box below um, to connect more with Jay and April. All right. With that being said, how are you guys doing today? They're great. Awesome. It's so it nice is a to see you. Day in South Florida. We're yeah. super excited to be with you. It's, it's so much fun. <laughs> You're where I want to be. I, although I will say I heard it snowed in Los Angeles a few days ago, which I'm like, What's happening? <laughs> That's interesting. In South Florida, I can no, tell you that much. No. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty warm here in Atlanta too today. But uh, we we our, our hearts go out to all of those who uh, who are still dealing, especially those in Los Angeles who are like us, who are like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this white stuff falling from the sky? So anyway, I wanted to get started with who you guys are, how you got started, how you woke up. Um, what your dharma is what what where you find yourself in this very interesting i say with my friend shanti from aquarius rising africa that our souls must have been very bored to decide <laughs> to come to her at this time so <laughs> so take it away you guys well okay so i mean i'll just quickly start for those of you that don't know um our background is finance we had um an insurance agency and a mortgage company we were actually general agents, so we had like 50 agents underneath of us. And um, it was a great run. It lasted about 10 years. We did financially very well with it, but um, it was just unfulfilling. It was the same thing over and over and over again. And um, we caught the, the tail end of the mortgage run, which was really, really great. And when the mortgage run radically ended, um, we just kind of were like, I'm done. Are you done? I'm done. I'm done. You're done. And <laughs> simple as that, honest to God, after all those years. And Jay said, well, if you really mean it, I'm going to sell the business. And, um, to my biggest shock, he sold the business. I wasn't surprised about that. I was surprised, shocked on the time frame. Um, he sold it within the same week, like literally within days. And that's just not normal. You don't sell an entire agency like literally in overnight. That's a god wink. That's good. Yes. We were supposed to go, I guess. <laughs> yes. That's the worst going. We're you got my message. To go. <laughs> <laughs> so we go. Um, but because it happened so rapidly, not only were we out of business, literally, we had no backup plan. We had no idea what we were going to do because we hadn't really thought about it at all. We had no time to even conceptualize any of it. So we took some time off. And this was um, 2010, 2009 was just really when social media started coming into the, the forefront. And we had zero social media experience. We had zero media experience. Um, I didn't even know how to use Facebook. The only type, as far as computer literate, there was zero because we just worked from a, a an insurance program, right? Um, one one disc <laughs> back then, and um, then we said, well, you know what? Why don't we start a, a radio show? Which was like the most ludicrous idea ever because we had zero experience. And then one thing led to another. Um, once we ironed out the kinks, it took a couple months, took a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of mistakes. And, um, but we figured the mistakes out very, very quickly. And then the show took off. So our actual first launch was like 10 years ago. And um, yeah. it took off really, really quickly. 
And then everybody, we started monetizing the show right from the get go. And everybody wanted to know how we were monetizing, how were, how were we making money? And we just started telling people how we were doing it. And I said to Jay one day, this is crazy. Why are we telling people? Why don't we just start a consulting business? And we started a consulting business. So we ran the show for 18 months. We did over 1200 interviews in 18 months, which was, we were moving at mock speed. And then the consulting business just was so overwhelming. Um, we couldn't record anymore. So we literally took a hiatus for like seven and a half years until fast forward to 2019, we relaunched the show again. And that's the perfect timing because I was right on the precipice of everything that was about to um, about to collapse before our eyes. The illusion that we we call, we call the matrix started to collapse. And I want to I want to hit on that too because I know that a lot of people watching right now. My I have some, and I'm sure we we share a lot of. I hate I, I really hate calling them subscribers and viewers because they're very important people and they're a part of our community. But it's really hard to run these shows. And that's one thing I don't think people understand. And so you're when you said you did that many interviews, holy shit, like that it is hard. This yes. is a full time job to be able to do this. And it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of, you know, days when you're not feeling great, you have to put that smile on and bring the energy and and then the monetization aspect of it, like you know, if YouTube was not run by the controllers, it would be an incredible platform because of the AdSense. It gives it gives content creators an ability to act as their own producers. And so your subscribers don't have to pay. They can watch just with the commercials and that helps. But then, of course, you've got the, the complications of a very nefarious group of people who are you know, working really hard to not allow certain information, which is unfortunately the things that you guys and I and a lot of our friends speak about. And, um, and so it makes it very difficult because I know you guys have had, you've been kicked off, put back on, like you guys have gone through a lot of, which in some ways, you know, you're on the right track when they do that to you. you it sucks, but you're like, well, at least I know I said something that was true because otherwise this wouldn't have happened. And so when was you, cause that's, that's so, you know, Going from like a very, you know, a lot of people and in, in of our viewers come from these jobs that are very much like in the matrix, like mortgages, accounting, all this kind of stuff. So how was your spiritual evolution? Like, when did you start to like evolve spiritually as a person? And I think, again, this great awakening really is a spiritual awakening. It's really us really figuring out spiritually who we are. So I think that was probably the reason we wanted to sell the business to begin with, because we were evolving. We, we had taken a trip to India. To go on the search right yep. and uh, just uh we went there and and, and you know india is not like you don't go there for rest and relaxation no, i go back out. and forth myself yes yes it's, it's, it's brutal you know that but it's but it's it's like I, I tell people i'm like look you know what if you doubt the concept of a god go to india you know it, yeah, i don't know what else to tell you but go to india you'll, you'll see for yourself but um so we went there and i think we just really felt always connected to something and then there's a greater purpose than selling insurance um, not that's a bad thing. Not that's a bad thing. I mean, you gotta you gotta do what you do in this world we live in. But then, so we we wanted to just figure out what was the next phase. I mean, we were just at that place. Like, what where can life take us? And I and I think that for us, it was really like, you know, it would just suck if we don't take these steps now and not explore it. Because one day we're gonna wake up and it's just gonna be like so. You know, life doesn't have to be boring, right? So for us, it was just really about getting fulfilled. You know, we're like, okay, and look. getting answers. The, the other thing too, um, the reason why we launched Spiritually Raw also, um, really for our, our own purpose. <laughs> yeah. um, we weren't, like I said, we weren't experts in the spiritual realm at all. We weren't experts in anything that revolved around media, YouTube, social media, nothing. We were experts in insurance and financial services. But we were having so many spiritual experiences ourselves and they were quite extraordinary. We've had very, very, very extraordinary experiences and we needed the answers. Yeah. So the best way to get the answers was um, to interview people that were experts in very specific fields. So um, that's really how our spiritual evolution really evolved very, very quickly because we went right to the sources and just started asking questions after questions after questions. And like I had mentioned, we interviewed over 1,200 people in 18 months, which is just to put that into perspective. 
um, is three shows a day, four to five days a week, nonstop. I can't even, I don't know how we did it because I like three shows a week. <laughs> that was a lot. So I can't even imagine how we ran at that pace, but it was great because um, we cut out the learning curve, like whoosh, done. And from there, we just started to expand and grow and so forth and so on. We just needed to force through it, I think, yeah, for us. We, exactly. Yeah, we just needed to be like, what, you know, we, we just got to do it. Whatever, like, like not overthink not it. About it. Like, just, just do it and just go. You know what I mean? Just hit the go button and go. And, you know, if you get those diversions, like, like don't. I think what we've been blessed with is the ability to not to overthink things and not to like look at an adversity and be like, oh, no, what happened? And just think about it and ponder on it. We're like, fuck it, it just happened. Yeah. Go, yes. let's, let's, you go. Let's go. You know what I mean? That's such an incredible lesson. Like, I'm sitting here listening to your story and it's, um, you know, we, we talk about uh, on my channel, because as my subscribers know, as you guys know, I, I too have spent a lot of time in India. I've always been a seeker, a seeker, a seeker, a seeker. What, why are we here? Why are we here? What's going on? And then all of a sudden stuff starts happening in the world that we're living through. We're like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> this, you know, but I want to, yeah, like there's uh, my one of my original American teachers before I started going to India. He talked a lot about studying music in India. In India, they'll take like eight hours to warm up for a concert. But in America, like I lived in Los Angeles for a while. It's good enough for rock and roll, baby. Five minutes, you go on stage, you do it. And my teacher was like, sometimes it just has to be good enough for rock and roll. Sometimes, even if you're not ready, you're if you wait until you're ready to do something, it's never going to happen. And these adversities that happen to us, they're happening for us because they're creating a friction. I, I use the analogy a lot about the match. The match has everything it needs to light, but it can't light until it's struck against the matchbook. And so sometimes these, I mean, the, the lockdown for me was a great, I was running my own shala and all of a sudden that was gone. And so I just kind of like you guys, I was like, well, I'll just put myself on YouTube. I like to research shit. Let's research stuff. Let's figure out what's going on together. Let's talk about it. I, I'm the same. Like when you said that you wanted to learn, that's me too. I'm a constant student. I want to learn. And, and what better selfishly, I get to do it on camera with other people watching and that's that's um it's a privilege and um and i want to bring it up to you guys because if you watch what they just said so many people i think get really caught up in this oh man well i went to school to be an accountant and now i want to do it's all part of your divine plan every part of your life is part of your dharma for me in school i studied literature and then i ended up in india but now on youtube both are colliding so never begrudge any part of your your life because there was a purpose for that step that was an important step in the process and and yeah i'm like you guys i'm i was i still am pretty bad at social media i you know um and it's it's kind of funny because that's like what we have to use now right so so <laughs> so on the head um we've had a lot of different evolutions throughout we've been together for 20 years so we've gone through a lot of different evolutions and when something doesn't work out, whether it's personal or business, like Jay said, we don't sit there and, you know, oh my God, what are we going to do? We're like, listen, we move into action. How can yeah. we turn this around quickly? And even if we spend a lot of time, money and energy on something, if it doesn't work out, we don't force it to try to work out. We spin it and put another twist on it or let it go and cut the ties and move on. So we've had a lot of different business experiences which ironically, exactly what you just said, Bryce, has all come together as it's all been a culmination to come together to this very point at this very specific time right now. And when we look back at it, we're just, it's like mind boggling. It's mind blowing because you're like, we needed to know that because of this. So wild how it, it is so relevant what mm -hmm. we did. Like our, I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, man, you know, that all that, all of that we learned in running the insurance and you know what we do now it just is so relevant i mean that mm -hmm. skill that, that 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 was taught to us right so yeah it, it is I, I think it's just the, the the path and then you evolve from there and and i think that eventually you can go from maybe being an accountant and a lawyer to finding out boom what is now your what is your earth purpose here is yeah. it to first you know what i mean is it to is it to do this or is it to really now get help people have a better existence and how do you apply that right and I think a lot of people get hung up on, oh, I spent tens of thousands of dollars on, on college. I spent endless money on courses, classes, et cetera, 
all this time that I've invested into something that I thought I was going to do for, if not the rest of my life, a very long part of my life, and they get hung off on that, and they keep trying to force it to work. And this thing that I can say simply to your audience, Bryce, um, if you force anything, it never, ever really works out the way that you expect it. If you let go and allow the universe to open up other doors for you, um, and that happens very easily and seamlessly, then you know you're on the right path. But if you keep trying to push and push and push and push, it's agonizing and painful, and you're just causing yourself more angst and yeah. and uh, anxiousness. And just for God, God, the universe, whatever you want to call higher consciousness, it's here for your highest good. It is always working in your favor. And um, I, I use the example I went, worked so hard. I worked my ass off for 17 years, and I finally became the only female in the state of Georgia to have this authorization to teach Mysore. And I left uh, AYA and started doing my own program. And I was building my own program, and all of a sudden, lockdown, and everything was gone like that. And I, for a moment, it's like, oh my God, like I've spent all this time doing this stuff and now it's just gone. But then I heard, get on YouTube, get on YouTube. And so what you can start to see, and now I'm able to, to, to share my experience to a wider network of people for them to go on their own. So yeah, guys, there's never, anytime something bad happens to you, it's either the universe trying to get you to change direction because you are on the wrong path, or it's saying now it's time to pivot. Now it's time to take that experience and bring it to the, to this area. So there's never any mistakes that are actually made. And that is true. It's like, it's like that game we have as kids where you have like triangles and circles and you learn to put the shapes in. If you're trying to put a square through a triangle it's, and you're trying to force it, it's it's never going to happen. And that's one thing I actually really learned about India as well, Being spending a lot of time there, is the chaos of India actually has a lot of ebb and flow to it. Mm -hmm. And as a Westerner and as a hyper-anxiety-driven Westerner, that was really hard. And I was telling someone the other day, I was like, traffic in India, there are like no traffic laws. I mean, there's like one stop sign in all of Mysore and people use it as merely a suggestion. Like it's literally just a, a decoration for the street. But you don't, when you see car accidents, they're really bad, but you don't see many because people learn how to ebb and flow. They learn how to work with each other through that traffic. And that's, that's the beautiful thing about Mother India is there is so much chaos and lights and music and smells and sounds but it all works. You know, it's so funny you're talking about that. Um, when we had a driver when we went to India and we were leaving um, and going to uh, um, the mountains of, um, Ka not Kashmir, Shimla. Shimla. We're driving at night in the back roads of India with no lights, all rocks. Were, I mean, you want to talk about a frightening experience. <laughs> And the driver was just happy as a clam. And he said, I'll never forget it. He goes, God drives my car for me. And he just had the whole thing totally under control. Pitch black. You could not see the hand in front of your face. And the roads back then were not paved. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Yeah. As a yeah. It's it's one well, in India too. It's like if a cow crosses the street or a goat or a dog, you just stop and wait. No big deal, you know. And it's it's it that that I tell people so much. Like you know, the practice of Ashtanga, you can learn that anywhere in the world from any teacher. But the experience of actually being in a place of Mother India in this beautiful country where there is so much chaos, but within that chaos, there is an acceptance and there is a a relaxing into it and just letting life happen. And it's funny too. I was, I was actually just on with Aquarius rising Africa and we were talking a lot about Paulo Coelho's, um, the alchemist, the book, the alchemist and how he goes on his journey to find his personal treasure. And he, he crosses the Mediterranean, goes to Egypt and he gets there and realizes his personal treasure is back at home, which is a metaphor that it's always within us anyway. And he gets all upset. Cause he's like, why did God, why did I have to come all the way to Egypt? Like this was a waste of time. And God goes, but weren't the pyramids beautiful? 
<laughs> right. Yeah. Are you actually enjoying? Like we go. Like I always laugh about our colleges now because LOL. Like what do we know is true anymore? But man, I had a great time there. Like I had so many friendships I made, and I don't know if the education is legit because everything's a lie. But I made so many wonderful friends, and I got to experience so much. And so it's like being able to have that perspective of, of maybe you are an accountant, but do you like your coworkers? Do you like you know? It, it, there's there's so much there's so much um just substance to life if we allow life just to to be that for us in the bhagavad gita i mean krishna tells arjuna love the work for the sake of the work not for the fruits of your outcome that's hard for westerners to hear that because we've been conditioned to work 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 for a prize but what if we just remove the prize and say love it love the hard stuff love enjoy every minute of it because that's as alan watts said you came here the point of life is to be alive is yeah. to experience all of it, you know? You know Absolutely. Um, you, we've done all these shows and all these interviews, and just as a quick synopsis, I mean, I at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you get all this research, you get all this information, but do we ultimately know why we're here? So my stance has always been, you know, just let's just enjoy this moment. You know what I mean? What's the point of saying, well, I'm going to work till 70, then mm -hmm. I'm going to get my check, and then I'm going to probably die two or three years later, because I'm bored. You yeah. know what I mean? There's my no, my, my or, or I don't know what stress. to do. Like, you can't process that. It's like, so I think for us, and we try to share with other people, look, yeah, you know what? You don't have to, you don't have to just think of or get attached to what, what your trade is. You Like we talked about earlier, your trade can be a, a catalyst to the thing. Because I think at the end of the day, what I'm, feel like we're figuring out is that all we have is each other here to try to say, hey, look, you know what? Hey, Bryce just did that. We know not we now know it can be done. Yeah. You know, it's some we gotta continually be way showers for each other. Because mm -hmm. we don't know yeah. You know what I mean? We don't know we're gonna end up. We don't know what's gonna happen, right? So let's forget about it. Don't freak out about it because we don't know. So let's do we're here in a minute, like you know. It's um, it's it's just so true. It's that Ram Dass quote, quote. We're all just walking each other home. That's all we're doing. And I've said said this, and we're gonna get to the kind of the meat of the um of the conversation too, because I I want to also say, you know, so many people. I hear so many people in our community. Oh, I can't wait for this to happen. I can't wait for that to happen. When this happens, when the white hats come in, then we'll be fine. What about right now? There is so much about the world that we can't control. We can't control when the Federal Reserve exist or when it doesn't there's there's so many moving parts but what's good and uh, we're doing a shadow work challenge uh catherine is actually part of it with with our we have a 60 day and part of what i'm having to do is wipe down things they're grateful for like that that you you know besides the 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 pressures of what's happening i love my life i love my life i love my boyfriend i love my dog i love being i love what i do for a living now like it's it's um yes money is stressful yes we all need to pay the bills that's we're going to talk about all that all those things but um but just being in that moment with with loving life and experiencing that as a human being it's so important like that's what i, I always tell like if, if the flip doesn't happen for another 10 years are you going to be okay you know, like, because that, that is, there is so many moving parts that are really just all you can control is you and, and you in this moment. And that is, and that moment is where God lives. It's not the past. It's, the past is over and the future never comes. It's right now in this moment. And it's even right now. So you talk about forcing things. I think about how many, especially women, I know men do this too, but how many women, because we're conditioned as women to think we need a, a, a knight and shining armor. How many women have tried to force relationships? Oh. That's so not, I've done that so many times. <laughs> like, We're all guilty for that. <laughs> for sure. I'm so glad you said what you just said, though, about <clears throat> waiting for something to happen, whether it's an RV, whether it's a SAR or JASAR, whether it's the person standing behind the pulpit, whether it's the weather, whether it's this, whether it's that. That has been the biggest crutch from my perspective. That has been the biggest problem that is keeping people frozen from moving forward within their own lives and creating their own destiny, creating abundance, creating prosperity, creating happiness, because they have been fed lies, if you want to call it, they have been fed misinformation about what is supposed to be occurring and when. So there are so many people being ha hanging on to this carrot and um, it's literally putting people in a state of, well, 
I'm just going to sit here and wait for it to happen because everybody on YouTube is telling me it's going to happen, even though it hasn't happened, but I believe that it's going to happen and they don't move forward with their own life. That is why so many people right now are stressed, unhappy, broke, crying the blues. Yeah. Yeah. And as a spiritual person, I would say whatever you're struggling with, take that as a starting point to create that friction, to create change. And maybe that's what God and God's infinite wisdom is, is allowing us the opportunity. Cause somebody, you know, if we, if we look at it from the biblical perspective of Lucifer and the fall of Lucifer, well, y'all, if God wanted Lucifer gone, he'd just get rid of him. So he's keeping him around for, there's a reason why he's keeping him around. And it's for, it's, it's for your polarity. It's for your, that, that contrast for you to understand as Shanti says, what, what you're not. And, and I love that. Like we, we talked a lot off camera about this idea of abundance and, um, and, and what that actually means. Because abundance is for everyone. There is no, you know, I, I, I can safely say, I know I'm not a communist. I'm not a socialist. I don't think you guys are either. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. We know those systems don't work. We're talking about personal abundance, abundance in your spiritual life and your health financially, all that kind of stuff. That's all out. That's all there for the taking. Um, my friend, Emmy, who I would love to introduce you guys to because she went through this. She's spoken about this where she went through healing poverty wounds. This wounding of, of under of what poverty wound it wounding is. And that is something we know that the, I've said the controllers are many things. Stupid is not one of them. They're very yes. smart. Yes. You, you know, uh, yes. we uh, I, I see a lot of things and it's like, you know, I think of the concept of like this concept of God or creator or whatever you want to call it. And, and, and you know, good, bad, evil, whatever, dark light, whatever. It, it's the creator is a creator. Right. So I'm like, oh, great. Then, <laughs> you know what I mean? So and then. So then I think from the point of view, like, well, you know what? So we get so angry at this dark. We get so angry at those people or that hat or this hat. But weren't they just given the same rules we were? And don't they just know how to play it better right now? So shouldn't we, instead of just like, oh, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. Let's say, hey, you know what? You know, let's learn how they were able to figure out the rules because they figured it out. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying right, wrong, and different what they do, what their actions are or anything. That's not the message of this one here. But it's that the fact that I believe we all came here with the same set of rules. You know, oh, we, we got good water, money, this, and they've just figured out the way to be able to do it. Now, what they ended up doing with that, that's a whole different conversation. But I think people, when they point the finger at that person's bad because they are, listen you got given the same you got handed the same deck you know what i mean yeah. just you know learn the rules better i mean that's how we we just live in that world where we have to be very pragmatic about these things and not be like you know uh and, and look you know i think we all want an rv or an asar or all that cool stuff that everybody talks about but do you really think at some point in time that they're all all of a sudden it's like hey everybody don't you worry yeah, never did. april on easter it's all oh, gone. Go ahead and resign. You're good. You know, do you really think that that's just not universal flow? I don't think. I think that's a nefarious no. action, in my opinion, to stop people, to put the brakes on, to I'm put them in a deeper the place, which then puts them in a deeper depression, mm -hmm. which then stops them from moving forward. So I don't necessarily think it's a war of like, okay, dark versus light, as much as like people are just mastered the game and some people decide to do messed up stuff with what they've mastered. They call it the chess game, and that's and I and I like you say that, and I've, I've been saying that in my on my channel a lot because I get called. I mean, I get death threats from fundamentalists because I challenge the Bible, and then I get called all these things because I have pyramids and all this stuff, and I'm like, listen, the darkness cannot create anything; only the light can. What the darkness can do is take from the light and invert or mimic. And so you're correct. We are all given the same set of tools. We're given the same thing. And and what the, the darkness, they're on the service to self path, where the light is on the service to others path in the sense that we practice empathy, compassion. In the law of one, if you read the law of one, they're very indifferent. Both paths are, are spiritually open to, to either to web, whatever you choose. And so what the controllers have done is they've definitely taken tools that's given to all of us and they've learned how to manipulate for service to self. Whereas we can take those same tools and learn how to better our, better ourselves better. And that's what I love about, and we know like 90% of the truthers are infiltrators. Like, yeah, we know that. But the ones that are really genuine, we all help each other. We're all on each other's channels. We support each other because there's abundance to go around. It's not a, you know, I sometimes when my mind needs a break, I will go, 
always watch and I'll admit it I'll go and watch like reality shows and like drama channels on YouTube okay good <laughs> I mean it's the British baking show that's what turns my mind off <laughs> I love the housewife shows like that. I, like Cindy, I know it's fake. We all know it's fake. So therefore you can enjoy it. Right. But, um, but you know, I watch these other corners of the internet and they're all battling each other for like, who's got the most numbers here? Who's got that? And I'm like, that's kind of cool about our side is like, we're trying to help each other and we're all trying to support each other. There might be a perspective that I have that resonates with somebody, but another perspective that Jane April have that resonates with somebody. And I've learned that through the yoga world. There can be a teacher, multiple teachers that say the same thing to you over and over and over again. But one is going to hit you differently than the other. It's all the same stuff. And that's why and that's why we're all created in all these different, you know, what's it Ram Dass says, you treat everyone like they're God dressed in drag. Right. Dude, that's, that's essentially what we are. And so, and so, yeah. And, um, and yeah, that's it. You have to, you have to like really, that, and that makes me sad. It makes me sad when I see people that first of all, want to throw everything out that they've inverted, get rid of like all the Egyptian stuff, all the, you know, when that was, that was actually ours to begin with, just take it back. And it makes me sad when I see so many people who don't understand how powerful they are. And that's why the controllers have done that is they don't want you to know. They know how powerful you are. I mean, I was just saying on Aquarius uh, Rising Africa, they literally locked, they literally shut a whole, a whole planet down to stop you from your greatness. Like that's how powerful you are. And once you realize that, that abundance is everywhere. And once you're able to relax into that fa a faith almost of, of, of releasing some of the strain, the control we want to have over our lives and just be, just be in that moment and allow things to happen. It, it will start to happen because the universe again is always, there's no hell that you're going to go to. There's no, you know, you are a fractal of God, you know, and that, and that, whatever that means, it, you know, you actually create, from my perspective, you create your own. You create your own heaven and you create your own hell. Yeah, however you and want to see it, so right? It, yep. it works both ways. You can uh, learn to master the god goddess version of you, or you can live in the devil hell version. The choice is really up to us. It's all within. We are we are the god goddess and. Uh, that's the spirit side. And then you can look at it from this perspective is uh, the ego side is the, the dark side, the devil side. Ooh. The question is, um, how are you balancing them? That's ultimately how to create harmony is because one is never going to go away. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. We will never, ever, while you're on this earth plane, be all light. It's humanly impossible. You're always going to have the teeter totter because it's in within us. We are the dark. We are the light. The ultimate uh, question is, or or um, essence is, learning how to balance the two. So you know, it's like I, always going to have both. I, I was wa I was watching like a lot of friends in the truth of home. I was like, and I, I'm amused. For me, it's amused. I, I look. I tell everybody, look for entertainment purposes only. That's how you should yeah. look at it, right? So, but I see, hear a lot of this. Oh, oh, we have won. The light is won. I'm like, okay. Well, what did we just win? Right. What do you think? <laughs> what we, and, and 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 I and question I, I ask people for seriously. Do you really actually even like you know people just dive in, they jump in, and they get we won, we won, we're this, we're there. Do you even really know what you're fighting for? Right. You know what I mean, do you That's really point. know what you're fighting for, or are you just with the band? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, and I don't mean that to. By any means, discount or 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 you know disrespect anybody's views of things, but you got to really wake up and be sensible about this stuff. You know what I mean? Like if you're a, um, I mean, think about it. If you're like a, if you're like the quote unquote the 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 one that your family relies on, the breadwinner, let's call it for example. And but you're out, but your mind's elsewhere, fighting a battle that you know nothing about, fighting something that you that's not even relevant to your life. I mean, you said it before, like you know, yeah, you know, listen, we all have our choice of people we like, but you know. The end of the day i mean i take a look at we got caught up in that whole trump movement whatever all that stuff there but i also think about it this way i did really good with obama too mm -hmm. <laughs> he didn't mess yeah. with my personally either you know what i'm saying do we know that that one right. individual you know what i mean does it make that much of a difference i mean is it worth you giving up your life for someone that you're never going to reach in touch you know i'm glad you're bringing that up because i've actually been very concerned i've done i've been i've been bringing people on my channel to talk a lot about cult programming 
And, um, and, and I have a, my, one of my friends now, she was in the Nexium cult. She's been on my show on um, some yoga people to show how this works and say, taking that sovereignty back in yourself and be able to critically think. And that is something that scares me because I see so many people say, oh, you don't trust the plan when you have a, a question and that's not okay. Cause we each have our own perspectives and we need to be able to listen to each other's perspectives. And I'm so glad you brought that up you guys, because yeah. You know, it's, it's, and, I, and I, I've been lucky enough to do some episodes with Sean Stone, who obviously comes from Hollywood, and he, he's very intelligent. He talked about, and I love the way he explained it with the macro and the micro. And if we look at the laws of attraction and vibration, our wounds, so our, our shadow side, the, the jealousy, the betrayal, the, everything we all, the friction we deal with, those, are our wounds those are sacred wounds for us to heal to go through the process of trying to heal them of bringing clarity to them if we don't work on ourselves the macro the stuff that we know that goes on with this nefarious group that's going to continue until we actually take responsibility of healing ourselves it's our own neglectfulness of, of giving away our power that's allowing this stuff to continue so yes it always comes back to you it always comes back to you doing healing you and working on you and when i say healing guys i don't mean that you're just magically going to wake up one day and all of your abandonment issues are going to go away no they're never going to fully go they're always going to peep back up as you were saying april it's always going to be this balance but it's recognizing what it is and like it's like um you know i i love it you know it's shanti says this as well like when um the your anger issue comes up or whatever it is that's uncomfortable instead of just like trying to push it away and ignore it ask it be like oh hello anger what are you here to teach me today what can i learn from you today hello jealousy what can i learn from you today it's a simon and garfunkel song hello darkness my old my old friend you know like it's 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 here for and that's what i love about india as well they their demons in india are considered teachers they're demonstrators Exactly, they yeah, are. You, you learn from it all. I mean, we 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 have a you know, it's it's just your choice of how you, what Christ consciousness, anti Christ consciousness, which one do you want to master? Master. Yeah. You, have, you can master. You, you know, it's kind of like I, I do want to touch on something that you said. I'm so glad you brought this up. Trust the plan. That has been the biggest misinformation concept. I think. Oh, if you had to pick all of them, that is it. Number one, trust what plan? Yeah. That's number one. Number two, how about very simply trusting your own plan? Yeah. Your gut, yeah. your intuition. That's it, it's so funny because I always say with I'm I'm not a parent, but I am an aunt and I'm obsessed with my nephews and my nieces. Like I would do anything for those kids. But when they were one of them is still little, but when the other older two were little, just they didn't need somebody to tell them who God was. Right. They didn't need someone to assure them that food was going to be on the table. And I look at these as we come to, to these earth as babies. And in India, they don't discipline their children until like, what, eight or nine years old because kids come come directly from the spiritual realm. So there's some there's a lot of respect there and the the in the 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 naivete of children and the innocence of children and that God, God kids are close to God. And that's and I love that because when we're kids, we don't need we don't even need a plan as a child. We just are. We're just yeah. in a world of curiosity. There's no there's no there's no hatred. There's no anger. There's nothing that's taught to us. And so I like when you say I love that. What plan? What plan? What Follow plan? your what hat? <laughs> <laughs> I tell people. When 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 uh, Trump was like, "What storm, Mister President?" I say, uh, "Surprise! You're the storm. Like you, that's you, Boo. You're you're it. Like that's it's you. No one's coming in to save you. It's it's you. You're the storm. You're and it." You can only hope in that you know people will just start to you know start to kind of say, "Yeah, oh, maybe it ain't working out." I mean, it's just been a it was an it was an opportune time for people to that people that were jumping off of faiths or religions or whatever that may be for them, belief systems. It was just a, I mean, it was just a tidal wave, an opportune time for that wow. kind of message to come in mm -hmm. and say, okay, now trust this plan. Oh, now don't trust the mainstream media. Trust this media because it's on YouTube. Wow. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, how is that any different? Just because it's on a different streaming system. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Like, I mean, seriously, I mean, that's really that kind of thing out there. And I and and a lot of times, I mean, that's like um, 
same thing, Democrat, Republican, it's the same stuff. You know what I mean? What, what, yeah. you know, trust your own plan, get, get moving forward on that. I mean, I think that if people can, gosh, I hope that they do. If like, if we feel like, you know, people can really get to a point of like, they, they can just really start to break away. We've actually gotten to the point, Bryce, that we don't watch TV for oh God, since two years. January 6th. Yeah. Like a year. Yeah. Like, don't watch cable tv yeah. like i don't watch news like someone we're living in florida and people are calling us and telling us hey are you going to be okay with the hurricane i'm like hurricane coming you know what i mean really I <laughs> um no it's i laugh because the only tv i watch is reality tv that's i don't watch any it's yeah. mindless it's it mindless, just, stuff, it's yeah. mindless and i know it's fake and there's no but i i will say when we when i go to like my parents house and they've gotten better about not watching the news or my boyfriend's parents house and they have like fox news on non-stop it's like oh my god like because you start to hear you start to hear the brain you start to hear like what's happening that you're you're handing over and i've said that before i'm like listen are you are you just switching anderson cooper with a youtuber because that's not waking up that's just treating one boss for another boss you know yeah. let's 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 really work work on each individual and i even tell people like if, if it gets to the point where you got to turn me off to take a moment by yourself and get get into your own body get into your own um being then do it because that's what you have to do and so i want to kind of like transition with that being said when we talk about like going into yourself you know we have the spiritual body the energetic body the physical body we've got our finances we got food now we do know that our food has been you know you guys are obviously I, I, i'm assuming you guys exercise a lot because you look really fit i exercise a lot i know a lot of our, our um subscribers and viewers and i've talked a lot about that through my study of intense traditional yoga is that a lot of we've been trained to think of like exercise as a way to like abuse ourselves and yes it can be used as a way to totally abuse yourself but the joy in the old systems the egyptian alchemy the yoga it's using the body bringing the body to a place of sweat and resistance to actually feel your spirit to actually feel the movement and that goes the same thing with food too because food health supplements all that stuff is vibratory that helps you it's just it's a tool to help you on your path you know it's so much harder i think to feel better in yourself and to feel more clear-headed when you're overweight eating delivery greasy food all day you know drinking a lot although i'm not opposed to having a, an occasional drink but drinking too much you know so what's what's y'all's journey been in that because i want us to talk about the asia but i wanted to like get there about how you guys discovered this these things and your own journey through your own physical of actually grounding i mean magdalene who is one of my guides and i love magdalene i love I, she's just like such a rock star but in her missing her band gospel um she talks about this that and i just did a reading with the half Thors where they talk about this that so many humans come to earth spirits come to earth and they do so much to not be here that they hang up so much in their upper chakra system that they won't actually ground themselves. But part of being a spiritual being is grounding yourself into is to descend into your body, to descend into your life and not ignore it. And part of that is the health, the exercise, the food, all that kind of stuff. So I want you guys to take us on that journey too. Like what was that for you guys? You want to go with that one? Yeah, I'll start <laughs> jump. Yeah. <laughs> so um, well, you know, it's evolution. <laughs> So we were pretty much doing what we want. I mean, we we haven't really been, you know, unhealthy per se. But then there there got to be a point. Jesus. Listen, we had our party days. I mean, just incredible memories, right? You know what I mean? But I think when we turned, like, I'm 51, I felt like, you know, for me personally anyway, I was like, you know what? Boy, that first 50 years has been a good time. Okay, so let's let's just go ahead and try out a different way. And that's all it really was for me. Um, so... For me, I just stopped drinking, I stopped smoking, and I'm like, you know what, let me just eat better. Um, and I, it's not like I don't deprive myself from what I want, I just don't eat like carb stuff, like the stuff that makes me feel tired, you know what I mean, like breads and rices and all that stuff, and that I just, you know, if, if it doesn't, for me, it's about fulfillment at this stage of my life, like I want to experience every moment. We wake up at five, and we, go, so we just can't physically go, because we would just want to experience it. I don't want to feel like, you know what, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, I want to take a nap, or I want to sit there and do this. I want to see what's out there. I want to, I want to get a, get a scope about there. So I believe diet has a lot to do with that, what you ingest. And also too, I mean, look, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy nut here, but 
I don't think it's a real secret that the food's been messed with. Yeah. I mean, chicken looks like it's human leg. <laughs> it's huge, right? I mean, that's not normal to eat that, right? And so it's like you, you, you know that there's something being messed with. So you just have to use discernment and and then think about these things and like, you know, you know all these different scenarios about how, what you take in. And I think if you can, if people can start to take a look at that more seriously, we just had a friend today, for God's sakes, I mean, you know, just called up because I had a heart attack in the hospital. You know what I mean? And it, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. You know what I mean? But it's it's part of the it's part of what happens with people. We're conditioned that this is going to happen. Two out of three people are going to get this. Two out of three people are going to get that. So you know, again, that's program. Like you think yeah. to yourself, be one of those two out of three. So fuck it, I'll do it anyway. You know what I mean? So I don't think we should we decide. I think right not to really fall into that trap. You know what I mean? And just be like, you know, start eating better. Well, we used to be really awful eaters. Pretty I mean, bad. Awful. We would literally eat whatever we wanted, whenever we wanted, and not even think twice about it. Then you start to hit your 40s, and all of a sudden you're like, I don't know if we should be doing that anymore. 45, and then it really starts. To, when you hit 50, when you turn that corner of 50, you definitely know at that point you cannot possibly be eating the same way that you used to be eating and maintain that same type of lifestyle. Yeah. Now, when you compound that with the, that the food's been so tainted, it's much worse than it was five years ago, three years ago, let alone 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Um, everything you put your fingers on is loaded with sugar. Right. If you were to say, from my perspective, what is the devil? Sugar is the devil. Sugar is the root to all evil. Money is not the root to all evil. Let's be very clear about that. Sugar is the root to all evil. It will take you down. It'll take your family down. It'll take people that you love down. And um, when, when I finally, or when we really finally had to come to Jesus with sugar, that's when we really started to shift everything. So now, yeah, like we'll totally have like a treat. Uh, or or as apple calls it a, a naughty right i have my naughties <laughs> and um but it's like in smaller dosages right it's yeah. like or on the weekend we'll just have a splurge moment not where it's like all, before it'd be like every day we'd be splurging or having naughties right so it's learning how to like everything balance 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 is the key to life and yeah balance that's how you create harmony and I will say I'm having people and guys, this is why in the shadow work challenge, I'm actually having everybody write down everything they eat. It's not a diet. And then 30 to 45 minutes after they eat, how are they feeling? Because food can also, if we, we think about stomach aches or indigestion, heartburn, but food can also cause anxiety and depression. Right. Most definitely. It really, it really can. You know, we, I went, so I don't deprive myself. I just don't eat the stuff. Like I know what works for me. Like, so for me personally, breads and rices, I, I don't, don't eat them. And, uh, but I had a hamburger yesterday just without the bread. I was fine. I was energized. I'm, it's just, it's just, you know, you, you figure out your body type, I guess, or you figure yeah. out what's, you know, it's a, yeah. it's a freaking science project, isn't it? I love bread. You know, she yeah. loves bread. I can, I can handle bread. I'm, I'm very, um, so I, I always say I grew up as a child. I was throwing up all the time. I was in and out of children's Eggleston children hospital for digestion issues. So I tackled the food thing. I started figuring out as a child, I could smell whether something was going to upset my stomach or not. I didn't know what I was smelling was oil. But when I went to India, my first trip to India, and I sat with an Ayurvedic doctor and I learned the dosha system, that has changed my life. And now I actually know what it feels like to feel healthy because when I was a kid, I just wasn't feeling good because I wasn't eating. You know, my mother, we would come home from school and my mother would give me us raw apple with peanut butter which is a healthy snack, but for someone with my disposition, raw apples are not good for me. And that's why I was throwing up. And so now that I understand that, I can make better choices. Like bread, bread doesn't affect me either. It's my, but like my boyfriend is heavily affected by that. So you figure out what works for you. And then you start, when you start to feel better, you never want to go back to like not feeling good again, I'm, you know? So hard to maintain that level of, Health. Food should be energy at the end of the yes. day. Food should be energy. It should be your source. It should be your your way to prop you forward, not for your weight. I mean, I know on some days we celebrate and whatever, but for the most part, it shouldn't be your catalyst to take a nap. You know yeah. what I mean? It's your yeah. catalyst to just boom and keep going and experience the beauty of this world that we're in is yes. really 
I believe it should be. Yeah. Yeah. And so you, so yeah. And, and I, I, I just turned 40. So I literally went through a lot and I've always had a problem with I've uh, gaining weight. I've always been a little more on the underweight side, which is as much of an issue as it is for being overweight too, guys. It's, it's the equal different reasons, but they're equally just as bad. So I feel like for me, the food thing came in very early for me. Um, the yoga helped me with the digestive, so all that stuff, but I understand what you're saying because, well, it's funny. We talked about this off air. I'm entering into my 40s. My boyfriend's in his 50s. I look at my friend, no offense if any of my friends from high school are watching right now, but I look at like pictures and I'm like, you know, but I think when you start to actually take take control and understand it, there's a, there's an alchemy here. There's a magic to this. God, you know, I'm a huge believer in plant medicines as well. I'm a huge believer in microdosing. I'm a huge believer in you being able to experiment. And I will say I, I had to go, we were supposed to film this on Friday, but I ended up having to go to the um, urgent care because of my ear. And I was so nervous to go. And I come from a family of doctors and I've, I've been so afraid of medicine ever since the event of 2020. Um, is what I'll say. Um, I was very nervous and I was filling out all my forms and they asked me if I wanted the Zapperty Duda because we can't see that that real word. And I, I said, no, I just was. And I was like, oh, my God, I was freaking out that I was going to get in the room and they were going to pressure me. And I got in the room and they started working on my ear. They didn't say one thing to me about it. And I right. thought, isn't that amazing? They're actually respecting boundaries and no means no. And uh, they didn't force me to wear a face diaper. And in fact, the guy that was working on my ear, he ended up taking his off. And I was like, I'm so happy that this is like, you know, but that's, you know, but, but, um, but anyway, that's kind of hopefully medicine is taking going in more of that direction where the patient actually has more of a say over what they're comfortable with. But, um, but so when it comes to because uh, we're going to talk about the ASEA guys, because Catherine Edwards, who is one of my bestest friends, who I trust, I mean, her whole diet talk about a diet her I, her biology with animals has changed my dog completely and i will never not use her diet plan for animals because it's amazing she had been talking to me about this asia stuff for a while and finally it clicked in my head um and we i'm still waiting for my my order to come i know the weather's been bad in salt lake so it's going to take a while to get here but i'm so excited because i've heard so many great things about this and so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of you guys might have noticed i put it i've already put some of the links in my description boxes but you're, you're going to hear more about this um because so so what so jay april how did you guys find this and tell tell my uh tell my 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 community here about this product very, how did we find it? <clears throat> Very unexpectedly. Very unexpectedly. In the most unexpected way. Um, where we used to live, there was a um, infrared sauna that we used to frequent a lot, which for anyone that's ever tried it or if you haven't tried it, definitely it's yeah. wonderful all the way around the board. But um, so we just were became friends with the owner and he kept literally every time we went in Bryce talk about this blue bottle and the product. And I was like, I'm trying to be nice here, but I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really don't want to hear about it. And he just did not let up. And um, he, there, there was a conference, an ASEA conference that was coming in our neighborhood, which is absolutely nothing I would have ever gone to. But because we were friends with him and he really was like, you know, take no for an answer, we went. Jay really kind of was intrigued about it. I was not at all. I wanted no parts of it whatsoever. This is how you know God has a sense of humor. Like, this is how you know. <laughs> so true. That was so true. And um, when we went there, I was blown away by Dr. David Silverman, who you'll meet, Danielle, who you you will meet, um, just beautiful, authentic people. And um, I thought, geez, maybe there really is something to it. He's like, let's sign up. I'm like, no, no, no. He's like, no, 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 I want to sign up. I'm like, whatever, okay, fine. Because we were already taking so many supplements. You know, when you're on YouTube and people know that you're healthy, they send you everything. Yeah. So we're very, very grateful for, at, you know, but we had like if you came into our kitchen, you open up the cabinet, you would have thought we had like a store. Right. <laughs> For real. Right. So we were taking so many things. That's why I was against it. I didn't want to take anything else. And then um Jay wanted to, so we did. I was against it. I took it anyway. And I was like actually starting to feel better. But I was like, it can't be that thing. It can't be. <laughs> When I, 
was undeniable. Um, I was saying to Jay, this is crazy. Something really magical here is going on. And um, I said, the only way we're going to really know if it's the way that we're feeling is coming from this magical little blue bottle is if we stop everything else. So that's what we did. We put the brakes on literally on everything and only took this. And that's when we knew. And at the three month point, um, because we had no intention of ever telling anyone, let alone bringing it onto YouTube, that was just never going to happen. And then by the third month, when we were absolutely sure that we knew that the feeling and the pineal gland and the clarity and the energy and the sustainability and just, I mean, endless our skin, every, we were visually looking different. Yeah. That was, you know, when you're on and you have a video and then you look back and you're like, Oh my God, I look different. Yeah. Oh, that's YouTube is, that's one thing YouTube's really good at is I can, you can go back and see evolutions of people from, yeah. So in the third, when we hit around the end of the third month, I said to Jay, I'm like, I think we have an obligation um, to let others know about this. And that's where it started. For me, it was, um, I was tired of taking, even though I'm grateful for it because of the show, but I was taking like up to 10 supplements and I'm like, man, I can't figure out what the hell's working. So I'm kind of afraid to stop the one thing because that might be the one thing that makes it all work. So you keep taking it off. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, I don't want to keep doing that. I'm, it's like, even though it's supplements, I still feel like I'm walking around with like a pill box and you got to take this twice a day or that or whatever. Right. I'm like, I don't want to live life like that. So yeah. I went to this thing and then, and, and, you know, it was interesting. It was out of, it was a more out of like, I don't know, I didn't know why I went, but whatever, God and work, whatever you want to call it. But I was there and I'm like, okay, it, it makes sense. I do want to try it. So what I realized about it was this, as I started taking it and instantly it connected with me. I'm like, holy shit, this is the delivery system that's making everything else work. Mm -hmm, and right. so it went from taking 10 of these supplements to, you know, we pretty much gave up, but then even coming back on the supplements, maybe now I take two, yeah. and, but, I, but my intuitive compass is there. And I realized the reason I was taking so much is because it didn't matter what I was taking. It didn't matter how much I was taking. It didn't matter of like who's got the greatest brand of the month. If the delivery system's not there, <laughs> who cares? You know what I mean? There's no bus to drive it to a location. It's not going to, it's, it's only as good as that. So then when I started to realize, okay, well, this is, this is that mechanism of it. It's amplifying the signaling to the cells is what it's doing for, for those people watching. It's literally letting the body know because if you if you visualize your body and let's say we're born in this lifetime, and we have one tank of gas and that gas is called redox, right? Yeah. Redox is notifying the body where there's a crisis. After you hit puberty, that the redox starts to go down, down, down. The aging process starts, the, the disease process starts. Now we have the ability to put gas back in the engine. So now the body, again, regardless of age, can notify the body the way it used to where there's a crisis. This is why people are having such incredible anti-aging benefits. Uh, they're, the things that cause them discomfort before Bryce, they just don't cause them discomfort. So for us, being show hosts and having a day job, we're like, ah, April's like, you know, we got to get this out there. I'm like, all right. So we did. And um, we called the show. Uh, the, the first one, the elixir of the gods. The elixir of the gods is what we call it because we really felt like that's what it is. <laughs> it's such a for us, whatever one's concept of God. That's the thing. Like I remember taking, I was like, man, I feel incredible. I feel like just so good all the time. I literally, whatever one's concept of God, I felt like I got touched by it. You know, it, it literally that that feeling. I had that feeling once on shrooms, but <laughs> but. Yes, yes. <laughs> But you can't, when you're taking a full day trip, you can't be a part of any other part of your life. So this is different. You can see you're not, you're not high uh -huh. as hell. So. <laughs> but yeah, and I think, and I think that's it. So, so it, it, it is, uh, we call it living younger, longer yeah. is what it's doing. And it's just changed our life. And now we're at a point where we've had the privilege to get out and talk about this, like on Catherine's show, your show and, and really many others, many, many other shows and informally just kind of being a, you know, really getting out there with this. But it's really so important that people realize that everybody in the universe, every living thing needs redox. So it's not another lotion, potion or shake. You know what I mean? So it's not like, OK, well, let me take a vitamin for this or or something for that. It's not. It's going to it's going to be the thing that you 
people very well be may be missing that they can't have a breakthrough. You know, and I'm talking I'm talking to so many people every day. Age is irrelevant. Age is the so irrelevant. Body is irrelevant. Yeah, it's, your 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 knowledge of anything is irrelevant. It works on everyone. There's no one that it if you don't have redox in your body, you're dead. That's it. It's very much. simple. Your yeah, body dies. You die. And that includes animals and people. So it doesn't matter um your ethnicity. It does nothing. It works for everyone. And um it's gonna work whether you want it to work or not. That's <laughs> right. Well, that's one thing, Catherine, and, and I, like I said, I respect this one thing I love about Catherine Edwards is that she's super spiritual, but she's very grounded too. So she understands she comes from a science background, which is really important. And she's been trying to talk to me. She's talked to me about this for a long time. And if I guess finally, I was just like, you know what? Let me, li let, let me listen to this because I'm all about, you know, I, I'm, I'm very mindful of what I eat because I know what it feels like to not eat well and to feel like shit. I love to exercise because it makes me feel alive. You know, that's the thing is we're trying to, and I love how you guys say that, like, I don't want to go to bed early and just sleep through life. I don't want to take naps. I don't want to feel depressed. I don't want to feel, these are things that we, we have to go through sometimes. So we know what we don't want to be. I want to live a life that's full and that's fun. I want to be able to take five mile walks with my dog and enjoy and, and do all these things. And, and that's, that's something that's going to help support that. And so I'm so excited. I am actually going to, what I'm going to do is because I've been doing some vlogging with the shadow work stuff. I'm going to vlog myself taking this stuff for a while so that you guys could see a, a continual video of what this is like. And I'm, you know, being huge in the yoga world um, here in Atlanta and doing a very, very traditional form of yoga, which is a very difficult leg behind the head stuff, catching the ankles, um, the, the gel too. I'm really excited about being able to offer that to students uh, get a, a trial like a trial size so they can put it on their knees and their joints and so and Catherine was saying too like when you take the liquid what it does is it will move through the body and find the area of your body that needs the healing so for me that would be a dip maybe a different area than jay and april it's the same product but the energy of the product so that the life the sentient being that's in this product, this life form is coming in to support your life. And that's what proper nutrition, proper medicine is supposed to do anyway. We've just been really derailed. And so this to me seems like it's a way to kind of take that power back to give your your um you give you some life support to when you know your you, life. Well, <laughs> yes, you know exactly. when, when you know you can feel this good. And All look, the time. I, I, I'm 51. I feel like I'm in my 20s. I really do. And I and I, and I run my businesses. I, I I do my stuff, and I'm I work out, and I'm, I just I'm, I feel like I'm in the best place ever. But this works from the inside out. And when you feel this good, you want to watch the things you eat. Yeah. You consciously are like, I don't want to. Wanna. So I really think this has really helped us a lot mm -hmm. from that standpoint. Is yeah. because you you know, like I remember you know, I was saying years like, Man, I feel incredible, right? And I felt like my intuition was off the charts. I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm seeing in panoramic. My discernment meter is so tight, so spot on. It, it was like it was like the decalcification of whatever just mm -hmm. is no longer there. <laughs> it just mm -hmm. opens, boom, it opens you up. So I, I believe it connects one with their universe, you know? Yeah. It is for them. I really do. And good and good foods. Uh, even I laugh about being high on shrooms, guys. But even like microdosing, which is where you take a little bit and you you're not high, but it starts to work with the vibration of the universe as well. So all of these things, I feel like are are a way for us to take that spiritual to be spiritually raw to take that 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 life back. You know, talking about getting your life back. The thing that I noticed the effect that I noticed immediately, same with Jay, because we run. And if anybody runs and you're running outside, you're going to feel the lactic acid, right? Yeah. In the pains and I'm going to be 56. So you feel that and you, all of a sudden you get pains that you never had before. Um, That was gone. In the first week, there was no lactic acid. There were no aches and pains in the, from the running. And then immediately what was happening was we were running Faster. faster we were running longer um and that's when i knew there's got to be something to this um but taking a, on the flip side of it too brace um because this raises your frequency it raises your vibration and throughout the day you're naturally on a sustained uh higher level so the things that used to tick you off don't tick you off anymore the things that used to push your buttons 
the things that used to set you off. It's just Maybe not there anymore. Work. So, and I'll use Jay and I as an example. Um, listen, we work together. We live obviously together. We are together virtually 24 <laughs> seven. It's not easy, oh, right? Man. This has so seriously improved our relationship. I cannot begin to tell you because we don't trigger one another like we used to. The things that he would do or I would do that would piss me off and vice versa. It's just not there anymore. So not only from a holistic uh, health point of view and an abundance point of view and a financial point of view, when you're talking about a love and a relationship point of view, it has completely altered for the better our relationship. It breaks the blood brain barrier. So it just, mm -hmm. and you know, what's good, like, you know, whether you're in the business of a seer, whether you're in the business of real estate or whatever you're in the business of, we are noticing more and more evidence of people. They're manifesting more money in their life because they're vibrating at a and much higher happy. level. They're, they're not having the swings. They're not like, oh, I feel great. Oh, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, it's that, not, again, that poverty wound kind of gets, yeah. Those thoughts don't come into your head. You don't think like that. Mm -mm. You, you, it, it hits, it's something's, something's, this is a great awakening. Right. <laughs> That's all I can say. You know what I mean? And I think people have to experience it for themselves, but it does open up something within you. I don't know. We're not scientists, so I can't tell you all that stuff, but, um, but it does waken up something within you that, that you get tapped into something. You, you, you feel a sense of purpose. You, you feel a sense of knowing clarity. Um, again, the stuff that you don't think in terms of like, Oh my God, the world's over. You think in terms of like the world's just beginning. Mm -hmm. Life's just about to begin. Like, wow, it's like you think in terms of that. It's a really, really pretty beautiful experience. I love that. That's the big Christian thing is it's the end of time. It's the end of days. I'm like, no, actually, it's the it's the brand spanking. Listen, we're at the end of the book. Like, it's the beginning. Like, uh, it hasn't, we're going into uncharted territory. So that, that's exciting because that means it's, and as we were talking about that, I've been studying a lot of, you know, the Emerald Tablets and looking at Tartaria and all that kind of stuff. And I just keep hearing like Atlantis, 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 like the Atlantis who are our actual uh, everybody on earth you are a descendant of that they knew these things like they knew these things it was a far more advanced society we're barbarians compared to how they lived and they knew these things about vibration and energy and it's 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 like the asia is just supporting the body so the body can live to the highest potential of what it can and you know we talk about i talk a lot on my channel about the the 10 missing tribes of israel which is a big theme and all the christian religions are offshoots and I'm like, y'all, that's your that's your DNA. Yo, that's that's not like some group of people out there. That's the 10 strands of your DNA with the two that are active. And and it's things like this that are going to, there's not gonna be any event that comes by and just naturally boom, all of a sudden everything's turned oh, on. Awesome. That would shock your nervous system. Like there needs to be something that slowly starts to work with you so you get yourself there to living your your full potential. Absolutely. We we yes. actually Flew to Utah. This, this, this is the divine flag. Yeah, I think there, the, I think it is too. This is the great awakening. This is the divine flag. Yeah. yeah. This it's your, flag. Which is us, which yeah. is really means us. We're it's in. Sex. But we just got to take the stuff that's available. It's but, the med in a bottle. The, the, yeah. the, I was going to say that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, the company that uh, created this, we went to see them in Utah and just, you know, because we're like, what, what is this? Right. It's like, you know, um, they, they, they had the opportunity to sell this to the pharmaceutical companies and and for just a for a few people they turned the deal down because the pharmaceutical he said hey we're going to shelf this no one will ever know about this if you want your check that was the intent and just because of a few people the founder at that point in time who was 70 years old said no way he's like it's helping people we're seeing this and this was and i think it was less than 100 people wasn't yeah, it? it was right less than 100 was... people they were on an beta test trial on this they're like mm -hmm. It's helping those people. There's no way we're pulling the rug on this. And the pharmaceutical is like, well, you know, there'll be casualties. They're like, no, they won't. They took it back and they're like, all right, let's rethink how we're going to talk about getting the word out. And so they they turned down the deal mm -hmm. and then they turned into what's called word of mouth marketing, which is what we're doing, right? Which is like, you know, getting on shows like yours and vice versa and sharing it this way because, you know, you can't just put this on a shelf and be like, okay, now what do I do with it, right? You know, you got to yeah. kind of it out. So, and you know, going back to what Jay said, just glazed over it for anyone that thinks, oh, well, I'm too old to start something. 
the founder was 70. Yeah, I was about to say. Well, and I want to say too, like this seems like perfect timing. I, a couple of months ago, uh, we were in the bed and, you know, at night sometimes we'll watch like movies or something and Unsolved Mysteries from like the 80s was back up on like Netflix. So we're like, let's watch this because I remember that was one of my favorite shows as a kid. And they were covering this, this story of a bank robbery and the victim was a 40 year old woman. And they had this woman, this actress reenacting it dressed like she was freaking 90 like old lady hair pearl necklace a purse i'm 40 and i looked at my boyfriend i'm like we are either like something's going on like people because i look at my mom's in her mid 60s and she's a grandmother and she plays i mean you know she takes care of herself she's outlived both of her parents she's um at age wise you know they died well, my grandfather was like 56 my grandmother 61 you know and and just that people it's like we're ready it's like like i don't think the universe ever gives us something until we're ready for it and it's almost like people have already started taking that initiative and now all of a sudden here's something that's going to help you along the way it's going to help you achieve that Yes. Yeah, and, and, and I, I really want to stress to people from personal life experience, if you do decide to reach out and learn more about a CIA and find out, don't go into this with like it's another lotion, potion, or shake, because it's not. It's 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 an aisle of itself. It's in a category in and of itself. It's an experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not anecdotal, like I'm taking this for a headache or I'm taking that. You know what I mean? It's it's hitting and the it reset button. Interact or interfere no. with any medication yeah at all. it's uh it's hitting the reset button on your life it really does have the ability to hit the reset button on your life and all of a sudden what was turned off is oh. back on again yeah well what i want to guys i'm going to put everything down in the description box below and again once i get my order in i'm going to be vlogging myself for a couple weeks straight so you guys can see me taking it and i'll put it all reel it all together because i'm really excited like i am I am super, I'm always, uh, we're, I, I think a lot of us are just seekers and, um, and just to experience the best life possible. I'm excited to look at it with, uh, with my dog too. And, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And just to see what happens, um, just experiment within myself. I mean, we're all, that's literally all life is. I, and a lot of ways, I think that's what life is too. It's one biggest experiment that your soul is playing with itself. Your soul is here to know itself. Um, and so I'm going to put a, a number for Jay down in the description box below uh, my links, everything. So you guys can research for yourself ask any questions you need in the comment section and i want you guys to come back will you guys come back oh, follow -up? yeah, yeah. yeah definitely we'll be so honest much. so i'm gonna open it up for you guys any questions you have of course with the asia but if there's any other questions you have versus and i, I told you in april i wanted to kind of start from the beginning because that is that's the big thing in the spiritual world like i you know when i'm talking about uh, my shala ashtanga i've been doing this for 17 years so i could walk a student through my whole process to say listen i've i have the experience and i can help you you got to do the work but i can help you so i wanted them to start off with their life story to show you guys that this is like something that they act i love that i mean we we know god has a sense of humor i say look at biden like that's a comedy that's a i actually think it's hysterical whenever he gets to speak i'm like oh good oh fun like what's gonna happen so um you know and so so you guys can ask any questions you want uh pertaining to this and of course i'm gonna be putting all of their links to their show as well um down there as well too so i thank you guys so much for coming on finally like a year later <laughs> I want to just encourage real quick, if I may, Bryce, is when people go to that link that you're going to have there, um, try not to go and try to order yourself because yeah. let us walk you through the proper way of doing it. Again, it's an experience, not just buying a product off the shelf. It's very different. So we're happy to help. We actually we're and you'll so, help show them how to save money, save money on it. I mean, there's different ways to do it, but we've even put together a group of people that can help answer questions for them. We'll send them all the information they need on the front end so they can review it, make sure it's yeah. right for very integral. And I thank you for saying that because when I first went to purchase, I messed it up. Um, and I know you guys said like the website's not exactly the best. I mean, it's still learning itself how to the and listen, I, bless their hearts. I couldn't design a website either. So we get it. So yeah, the fact that Jay has been and April have been doing this product for a while and know the company go ask, please let them walk you through the, the buying process. I had to Catherine had to get back on the phone with me and help me correct some things. If you are one of my students here in Atlanta, either at Sacred Garden Yoga or um, at Ashtanga Yoga Atlanta, we are going to be getting a little, uh, we're going to place an 
order for the little the little trial size gels that we will be more than happy for any of my students in Atlanta that I know personally. If you want to try the gel, just let me know and I will bring you a once we get it in, I'll bring you a trial size gel so you can try it for yourself. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's it's it. We're all just walking each other home. Right. So we might as well have fun doing it. And then if they exactly. want to, when they, when the best, the best way to do this is when they, my number will be their text and just say, Bryce, your name and information and boom, we send you the information. It's simple as that. Text your I'll name. That in the description box too, guys. Yeah. Cause I, we'll send them the to watch everything. So we'll just learn and do this all together, guys, because, you know, it, it can't, I, I, like I said, I, I trust Catherine explicitly because she is a biologist. She is a scientist. Um, and she is, has a lot of the same views I do on food and medicine and all that kind of stuff. So I, you know, and the fact that she's been bugging me to try this for a long time, I was like, I need, I need to do this. This is something I need to try and it can't hurt. So, um, so let's, let's see what happens. Right. Interesting. As Ram Dass says, interesting, interesting. Let's see what happens. So. <laughs> Oh, this into your world we appreciate it oh thank you so much for coming and i, I can't wait um let's see you guys ask away and we will schedule a follow-up fantastic we'll get Catherine on too we'll just do a big old follow-up so mm -hmm. oh, love, it. I love it thank, thank you much. guys and thank you guys for watching um we'll we'll see you all soon bye everybody Slow.